Okay, I want to do an introduction about why we're even working so hard. I mean, some of us are waking up extra early during these times to prepare for and learn um, concepts of chassidus about Pesach. And I wanted to I wanted to explain a few things. Number one is that many people are worried about spending a Pesach all by themselves, lonely in their apartments, and they'll be staying, they'll be doing a one-man show, and it can be really hard. And that's why we're trying, as Living Chassidus always does, we're trying to help, we're trying to help improve everybody's lives, and we're trying to help improve um, how people live with Chassidus in a way that actually helps them have a better, easier experience during Pesach. So, as with everything, there's Ruchnius and there's Gashmius. There's, there's the spiritual aspect of it, and then there's the physical aspect of it. And here, where our physical aspects might be constrained, we may not be with the families that we were hoping to be at, or as many people wanted to go on Shulchas in different places and help Shulchim. So, our plans are not exactly what they're meant to be. But we can absolutely have the most beautiful, inspirational, and really truly deep and meaningful Pesach because we're not being bombarded by all of these outside externalities. If we are so focused on the plans we were meant to have and then disappointed about not having them, then we're actually missing the point that this beautiful opportunity Hashem is putting in front of us, of us really living with our Pesach. We are given this opportunity to really make it our own and choose what it is that we want Pesach to be for ourselves. We're not enforced by anybody else, by any other family members or by any other, you know, environment that we're putting ourselves into. We're not forced to live with that, with those concepts. In reality, we have the ability to to, to choose what it is that we want in our lives. So too with this quarantine time. No one is forcing you to do anything. So you have the opportunity to really see what are my priorities? What do I want to do with this time? And, and the same thing with Pesach. I wanted to explain that, yes, Pesach has to do with family and Pesach has to do with joining together and all of these beautiful things. But if you learn Chassidus, you can really see the soul of Pesach is in what it is that we're doing at the Seder, what it is that Pesach provides for us what it is that we provide for the Avister and how we attune ourselves to really live with the actual existence that's happening during this time. So Hashem is making a day where we live, two days if you're out of Eretz Yisrael, where we leave our Meitzarim, where we, we, we have a whole system, we have a process, a step-by-step process of breaking out of our limitations. And we can actually choose to live with that in, in our lives, as long as we actually take the point and learn and appreciate what we're doing. In reality, for many people, Pesach is just the thing and say the words and how quickly can we get to dinner and it can be a bunch of emotions without a soul. So here, the more we learn, the more we learn this mimer, the more we prepare our Haggadahs, I'm going to encourage everybody, please find the Chavrusa within the Mechsidus or find the Chavrusa that you know and take the Haggadah, whichever Haggadah you have, there's the Good Nick edition, and the Kahas edition, and the other fancy edition, and they're all beautiful, and they have a lot of incredible things. Take the Haggadah now, and learn it, and really appreciate the opportunity Hashem is giving you, that way you can take your time, not pushed by anybody else's schedule, you can take your time to really live with this to the deepest extent, and it will make an effect in here, and in here. It'll really change your heart, and the way you feel, it'll change your mindset, how you think, It'll change your neshama. It'll, it'll lighten up your neshama and free it from this gallus. And may we all together really take this opportunity to learn and prepare ourselves. It's kind of like on sukkahs, that the, the minah chabad is that we don't really decorate the sukkah. It should look beautiful and everything, but we don't go out to decorate it. Why? Because if you learn and you appreciate what the sukkah represents, the kedusha, the, the, the spirituality, we may not see with our eyes, but our neshama feels, and, and, and we, we can appreciate it if we have a sensitivity to it, then it doesn't need that creating. It's so beautiful and special. But kifim de bina, it's, 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 it's connecting to the abister's, like, overwhelming, oh, given over experience that's above and beyond our, our, what we can feel. 
So when we appreciate that, we don't need to beautify it in addition. So too with Pesach. Yes, it is one of the concepts of Pesach that we should feel freedom. So we should make sure to make it beautiful and we should make sure to make it special. But the point is that Pesach in of itself, this explains in multiple times, in multiple layers, Pesach in of itself is absolutely incredible. And it is a powerful time to really feel what Hashem has already created for us. We don't have to be making up new, uh, new ideas. We don't have to be beautifying it we don't have to f- really like add knickknacks and different things. We actually appreciate Pesach kind of itself. But in order to do that, we need to put ourselves in the right mindset. We need to prepare for our Daha God. We need to prepare ourselves and our neshamas and, and, and really be in tune so that we're sensitive to appreciate the incredible gift Hashem has given us. And so let's learn. <laughs>